and she taught me to relight, relight, relight again. guys welcome to my channel this is nicholas no h back with some more sp19 so this is a newer one called moonlight um with sp19 ian asher and terry zong i don't know who they are um but i'm gonna be introduced to them uh could be rappers singers you know i'm sure they're if they're collabing together with sp19 then they all you know really respect each other's talent and i'll also be reacting to the dance practice afterwards so uh double header here hopefully this doesn't get blocked but if this does, then I'll put the uh, full one on Patreon for free and then just upload the uh, dance practice. But anyway, if you haven't been here before, check out my playlist of SB19. Uh, I've been reacting to them for about two years now. Uh, so there's a lot of content there. And every time I see them come out with something new, see them, uh, you know, perform live shows or uh, wish bus or um, just getting on festivals or, or what have you, they it just brings a smile to me because I know how far they've come, how hard they work. And uh, they're only getting bigger and bigger. More people are checking them out. You know, hopefully for the good, for the right reasons. Because uh, you know, with a lot of YouTube reaction videos, um, and myself included, you want engagement and you want people to you know subscribe to your channel and check you out. But you don't want to do it just for that. There's so many artists that uh, that I check out that I know can get my channel more subscribers. But if I don't really feel the music, if I know um, I'm not going to stick with them long term because it's not really for me, then maybe I'll check that person out once or twice and, and stop. But for SB19, I really do like their music and I really respect them as people and as humans and uh, just their talent alone. So um, while the support is nice, it's nice that they make good music and are, are good people. So that being said, if you do like my channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help. Helps let me know what is wanted on here and I can try to get more of that for you guys. If not, I appreciate it nonetheless. All right, let's get to it. Looks like they're in these business suits, business casual in this white room. Let's see what happens. This is very intriguing. So three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. I love this. In the moments oh, wait. when your face is next to mine and we don't show it. Wait, whoa, 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 too overwhelmed. I was gonna say I love how the the backing instrumental came in uh kind of low, um as if it's being played in another room and it, you know it eventually comes in, but then that bass line comes in as well with these uh, the synths already on top of that. Um, I love the vibe of this so far. I just know it's gonna be my type of song, so I'm. I'm happy. Let's hear it again. You hear the, the instrumental muted in the back, those drum drum it's kicks. In the moments when your face is next to mine and we don't show it. But we're thinking up the time. So put it in motion. Oh. My desires taking over my emotions. Look at Josh. My emotions. Want you in every way. Want you to squeeze. You know it's crazy, I did not realize that was Stell until now. I love this. Damn, this is a bop. Getting chills with this song. Um, you know, this sound is is getting more popular, more more in now. But it doesn't feel like it's like um, you know, it, it, when sometimes trends happen, this sort of sound can get lost in the shuffle because other songs you know that have come out before that, you know, are more popular or kind of bring it to heights that uh, it's it's hard to top. So every, anything after that just kind of sounds like a rip off or something like that. But SB19 in this, you know, dance funk, you know, like lo-fi kind of garagey sound. I just love that. The production's so good and their voices obviously like silky smooth. I love it. And I love this like a uh, nerdy business attire. And these dances. It's like a bunch of uh, office workers decided. I'm gonna be a cool ass P-pop group, you know? 
Oh. Those effects on the vocals. Yo, these, these, uh, that head isolation, neck isolation. Some voguing too. Probably gonna see it in the uh, dance practice, but I love the like the kind of. Uh, I'll show you. It's kind of like a glitchy skip, like a Mario jump. I love that. Oh, those effects. The synth going down there. Like you can play this in the club. Or like a house party too. I love how unserious the uh the choreo is though. It really works with it. With the theme they have there. Wow. See this is this is why I love them. This is why I've stuck with them for two years. Like this song is such a hit. Just this is like mellow, feel good, electronic dance song that like, ah, I, I can't get enough of them. And, and the effects on their voices, the choreo that accompanied all of this, uh, you can't say much about this. Like this, you know, it's not going for a song, uh, you know, some, and it, it was some of their songs in the past, but mostly in K-pop, uh, you have so many twists and turns and instrumental changes, little, um, things to add that, uh, always keep the, the song transforming and evolving um this one you just just give me a good dance song it doesn't matter if it barely changes like throughout the song and, and it did have some changes like different synths different effects coming in um different vocals being distorted in the back like a lot of little things that if you, you're not paying attention you'd miss but you hear it in the back and you're like oh this is like really cool um but from from start to finish it was just a really well polished song so yeah shout out to everybody who worked on this you know the music video uh staff producers um i still don't know if ian asher and terry zong were in the song so i'm just going to presume they were the, the producers of this or involved in some sort of creative direction with this and shout out to them this this probably one of my favorite sp19 songs uh like title tracks um out uh, that's how much i liked it so anyway let's move on to the choreo which i'm really excited about you saw a lot of it in the in the video but uh being isolated and just, just focusing on that will uh surely uh, i'll see some things that i missed in, in the music video so let's go all right sv19 moonlight dance practice let's go yeah i knew from the beginning and if you've been on my channel you know like the type of music i like i, I need to get used to Stella looking like this he always look he also looks bigger like he's been working out I love how like exaggerated this jump is. Or not it, not exaggerated, but like it's almost non-human. Like for people that just don't dance, they would jump like hop around like that. But they're doing it, uh, doing it in a way that see like these move these stiff movement movements. like they're in the body of someone who can't dance and is learning to use all their limbs and stuff it's genius oh. so cool i love the move where you control everybody else in the back oh this is sick It's 
like training AI robots to uh, learn choreo, which will probably happen in the future. This is so cool, love that. And we'll talk more in this one because I've heard the song, but in the first part, but I want to point out choreo stuff. Yeah, this, this part I love. Whoever came up with this idea, like, shout out to them. The circle star formation. Oh, that visual is so cool. Drew all the hands. Everybody mirrored. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that's genius. What? That is genius. That's something I've never seen before in, in you know, dance practices, K-pop, P-pop, J-pop, anything like. Involving the cameraman like that. Oh, and then to just slide naturally into that in a way that the cameraman doesn't have to do anything crazy. Oh. <laughs> kind of looks like a river dancey. Like They're geniuses. Wow, like I am thoroughly impressed with both of the, like the, the dance practice and the music video. And most of all the song, like, like I said, like some of my favorite songs of all time, just very simple premise, you know, either executed with a really good story or lyrics or an instrumentation that just immediately, you know, does something, uh, does something to my brain and kind of draws me in that way. Um, but with this, just really well made uh, dance music. It's like the choreo, it, it really takes it over the top too, because I've never seen a lot of those moves. Um, a lot of the, uh, the way they incorporate the camera, um, just the theme itself and them not being fully functional of their own bodies and, and just feeling the beat very literally like, like a robot would or someone that has never danced would. And then, you know, progressing throughout the song, you see them start to incorporate more moves, and even though it's stiff and robotic and there's no emotion really, especially in their faces, they're, they're making it a point not to smile or uh, do certain things. But the, the fact that they are able to pull that off just uh, mind-blowing i love this uh let me know what you guys thought anything that i missed or sh i should check out in the future as well and like i said shout out to everybody involved in this because this was a, a, a success i love that uh, anyway i'll see you guys next time peace